guys and girls welcome to the texas flycaster youtube channel my name is shannon let's get this off the ground shall we this is my long-awaited report walking the sand south padre island texas this is on the island side what you want to do is go up as far as you can on the paved road find yourself a place to stop i put put my stopping place my normal place to stop on the map there for you to see and then um, also is showing you on the map the way in from the road. Mosquito repellent, tons. Don't overdose on it like I did yesterday. I think I literally overdosed on mosquito spray. It is so bad if the wind is down. But if the wind is down, the fishing is better. So it's a catch-22, people. Anyway, we go over aerial, and the tide was in when I went out. It was out when I went in. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of water. It was pretty uh, interesting day. I think the pressure was changing. You know, there's a lot of variables here. Let me just tell you a lot of variables. Water temperature, sun position, tides, wind, mood, mood of the fish. I mean, sometimes if you think like a fish, sometimes you're not in the mood, but anyway, what I want to do is give you a top-down approach. Look at it from the sky. You know, I'm not a great uh, shooter of drone video, but I think the drone video might help you some. The water clarity was perfectly clear, you'll see in this video. Perfectly clear because the wind had died down. And I'm glad because there are stingrays and lots of them. So you have to be prepared to shuffle around. If you can't see, uh, if you can see, you'll see them most of the time um, you know the one that gets you is the one you don't see so that's how that goes but anyway this is the aerial view going in and now we're turning around coming back towards the ocean side um, very unsteady and very uh, lousy shooter here but it's better than nothing folks so hang on this is the aerial shot on the sand south Padre island texas april 2023 that's another there's so many variables maybe it's the time of the year you know so I'm just going to be honest with you, there, there are no fish caught or harmed in this video, but there's great information, I can show you the clarity and uh, give you an idea, it's a long walk if you really want to do it. I'd say I did 5 miles yesterday and I'm feeling it today, I mean, it will take something out of your sails, not just the wind. <laughs> So be sure that you are up for this task. You can go short. You can just walk out there 100 yards and say, no, nothing here, and walk back in, which maybe that's what I should have done. But, you know, I've been anxious for this thing to get underway. I've been going out every week walking this sand, this spot, for, I don't know, the last six months. I've been going out at least once a week. And uh, you know what? It has not shown me what it used to show me in the heat of summer. So I'll be back in July, hopefully, and I'm hopeful to be back in September to the South Fish Camp and do this again and see what it's like in the summertime. Like and subscribe to the, the uh, YouTube channel and go to www.texasflycaster.com for more information. All right, guys, nothing beats a good workout like another good workout. So I was on the... Uh, Brownsville Ship Channel last night, pretty worn out, so I figured why not go for the full burn. We're gonna walk into the flats. It's one of the things that I do. I call it walking into the sand. It's one of the things I do because it's so easy. I've been doing it for months and months without any results because it's just a therapeutic walk, really. Um, so you'll feel better after you do this. What you wanna remember is if you're, if you're cautious about um, sing rays, you can wear this kind of boot right here. These Sims boots are great. They're really great because they grip on, on the jetties pretty well too. And water. And head cover. And it's the weekend, so there's a lot of cars. <laughs> bring your back, bring your backpack with all your gear in it, you know, and uh, it's a mile to the water from here we're right close to where the uh, zip lines are and the horse 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 riding walking whatever you do with a horse on the beach whatever that's right up there so that's my landmark there's a there's a cut right in here with a road and stuff it's oh 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 
mosquito spray if the wind's low you need mosquito spray if the wind's high you don't it's just that simple so don't forget that anyway there's some drone footage here so it kind of shows you this cut and where it's at and uh we're gonna load up see what it's like so as you're walking in just remember don't stop walking the first part where all the grass is and the uh, vegetation loaded loaded with mosquitoes and if you're walking with the wind they're coming with you you got to spray yourself while you're walking to get them off of you it's pretty pretty hellacious if there's no wind that's why generally we like the wind down here because <laughs> if it doesn't blow you get sucked on ah got a ways to go looks like a holy walk doesn't it there's still people down here all around so the goal here is commune with nature walk in the water and just uh, relax and regroup that's what you want to do down here anyway because this is where it's at Think there's mosquitoes here <laughs> yeah there's mosquitoes here like by the thousands youch youch dang it oh 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 man the water's up today the other day when i came out here um, you know it's all about the tides moon moon position and all that this was a uh, dry and sticky icky now we're in six inches of water here on the lower laguna madre beautiful clear water But we're not in the Laguna Madre yet, so hang with me. One people. thing I can say for sure, guys, is the wind's blowing <laughs> a little bit more. No, one thing I can say for sure is it's about 10 degrees warmer than the last time I was out here, so that makes a huge difference in the everything. So it was, I don't know, a week ago I was out here, it was wet and rainy and cooler by about 15, 20 degrees air temperature. Man, it's muggy, it is hot now. And we're headed towards the real heat here in South Texas. So what you can expect is a complete changeover. And I'll tell you more about that at www.texasflycaster.com. The changeover is real important. And it's not any kind of flipping of the water column, temperatures or anything like that. It's about location, 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 location. guys this is the sand I'm going to show you what the sand is so you will know that this is the sand that my friend is the sand so guys if you're out here on the sand and it looks all overwhelming to you just stand still stand still okay and then you watch for movement in the water and you don't have to be moving if you're moving and you think and you look over there well it looks like something's moving right <laughs> take your time stop and then smell the roses or whatever smell the pollution i don't care what you smell just stop every once in a while so i got to thinking about it if you think of this as a vast desert of water you're looking for a fish oasis something out of the ordinary you know that fish will gravitate towards we're looking for a fish oasis it could be anything more vegetation less vegetation hidey hidey spots we're just gonna find out exactly what the oasis is in this desert of water called the sand all right so when I talk about clarity, let me show you what I mean by clarity, okay? I mean, I could talk about it till I turn unclear, but this is what it looks like.
that is cleared. Alright guys, so when you're out here prospecting, which to me is blind casting, um, that is the huge, huge use of energy. So what I do is I'm just walking the flats, thinking about other things, keeping my eyes open for um, any kind of movement on top, any kind of bait being shattered and scattered and uh, any kind of color I can see because the water itself is very very clear and if a fish flashes you should be able to see it with polarized glasses like the hook and bullet get you some hook and get you some bullet and uh, sorry I got the camera so close I know I'm ugly but uh, I've tried to keep everything out of the wind here the wind is just starting to kick on as usual and on a uh, Friday afternoon walking the sand on the lower Laguna Madre and uh, I'm surprised I haven't been buzzed by some of these um, well, I'm getting ready to get buzzed right here the guys coming in shallow just because they can but anyway um, it's good exercise you know keep yourself warmed up by casting every once in a while but otherwise you know you can throw into potholes which really aren't potholes they're sand holes where there's just sand and not much vegetation I tell you when I came out here in 2016 um, there was a real delineation between the grass and the sand and this slowly but surely um, the grass is creeping in on the sand which changes um, the dynamics quite a bit and the temperature so just keep my eyes open looking for any kind of slicks bait movement or anything like that but uh, it is a desert walk today gentlemen and ladies all right guys i hope you enjoyed this therapeutic walk on the sand it's a good thing to do after a hard night um the wind's a killer all right guys i hope that this breaks the wind so you can hear me uh that concludes my walk on the sand we got some thunder in the distance and it's coming this way um last thing i want to say is take a look at the map subscribe to the youtube website and when you're walking out here, if you don't see like blue crabs and crabs running around and you don't see a lot of, you know, foraging type stuff going on, you know, forage food out here, then you can bet it's your odds are already against you. And that's the way it is today. There's really like a, nothing even walking around except for <laughs> on the bottom, except for uh, those stingrays that are swimming around on the bottom, like everywhere. So beware of the stingrays. And uh, I'm gonna walk a little bit further and try to get on shore. I probably walked about two and a half miles. It kind of looks like uh, the weather's, oh, the boats are all leaving now. It looks like the weather is um, closing us out for a good reason. Hope you enjoyed it.